So welcome everybody to our 106th Sheep Plant Association conference. Great to see so many of you here. I think we're 107 booked, maybe a few more coming at the last minute. Um, this is on the back of a very successful 105th conference. Can I have a show of hands who was at the 105th? That was the February conference in Birmingham with Tony Smurfett. Yeah, that was great. Well, I think we had 180 that day, so that really was a packed house. If you weren't there, um, or like me, you've got a terrible memory, and you'd like to see all the presentations, they're all available on the Sheep Plant Association website. Uh, if you want to see the videos, they're available as well, but you have to go hunting for those. So you have to be logged in as a member and hover on the resources section, and then a video vault will drop down. So all the videos from that conference, and indeed today, will be on that video vault, so you can replay them uh, at your leisure. Okay, um, today's conference is all about innovation. Um, now, we have an awful lot to get through today, so I'm not going to do all the normal spiel, but many, many years ago, I used to share a few sayings with you, and I thought, I haven't done that for a while. So, um, there are a few sayings here which, uh, which tickled me, so I, I'll, I'll just indulge me, will you? Here's one from the late Terry Pratchett, who went to my grammar school a few years before I did. Uh, the trouble with having an open mind, of course, is that people will un insist on coming along and trying to put something in it. So there's the first one. The second one, now I want you to try and guess who said these infamous words. To improve is to change. To be perfect is to change often. Anybody know who said those words? Quite a famous English gentleman who liked a cigar or two. Well done, excellent. And two sayings which I feel are a little bit more relevant today, perhaps. Um, drive thy business or it will drive thee. Uh, Benjamin Franklin said those words. And finally, and uh, Richard and I, uh, Richard Jarrett is about here somewhere, uh, we often smile about this one. We came across um, an old Chinese proverb many, many years ago, and it sort of became the mantra for the Sheep Plant Association. And loosely transcribed, it says, when somebody shares something of value with you and you benefit it, benefit from it, you have a moral obligation to share it with others. So that's really what the Sheep Plant Association is about. We'll find some best practice and we'll give it to you guys and hopefully you'll go away and use it. So welcome one and all. I'd like to welcome all you first timers. I've met most of you. 22 people sat in here today have not been to conference before. I'm not gonna name you all, but you're all very, very welcome. And if you uh, get lost or need some help, if you find a blue lanyard, uh, they're your committee members, they'll help you. Okay, so welcome to you. Um, Okay, a little, a little bit of a change of format today um, in that we have, um, by popular demand, a breakout at three o'clock, which is sort of a walk around. You'll see around here lots of examples of innovation from some of our supplier members. So at three o'clock, we have about a 50 minute breakout where we encourage you to walk, talk, and see what's on offer. And to uh, uh, sort of help you in that, we won't serve coffee until the end of that period, okay? So we do, we do encourage you to, to, um, to, to walk the room and see what innovation is, uh, is on show. Uh, I'd like to thank our event sponsors as well. These events take a lot of time and money to prepare. So I'd like to um, thank Pomarco and Sun Automation. You'll hear from both of those sponsors later today. Um, also, a shout out. Um, can I have a show of hands for the companies that you represent? How many of you know that your company um, makes an R&D tax claim? Okay. So quite a few don't. Now, if you think, oh, we don't do any research and development, you might be surprised. Little old dairy pack, we, we've made uh, claims for the last six years, and it's a substantial amount of money that you can make. So even if you think you don't do any R&D, uh, we have uh, keen partners with us today, and they have a surgery which you can just drop in. You don't need to make an appointment. You can just go in there and say, this is the nature of our business. Do you think there may be a claim? So please make use of them. They're all here today. Um, that's Gabby, Ross, and Sophia. Uh, from, uh, from Keen Partners. Okay, yes. housekeeping. There are no fire drills. So if you hear the fire alarm, we are on fire and need to get out. These doors all open and the meeting place is at the front of the hotel. Okay, and can I also on a serious note remind you of all, all of your responsibilities under current competition law. So that's Article 81 of the EC Treaty and Section 2 of the Competitions Act 1998 and not discuss anything that might be construed as sensitive under current competition law.